Okay, so here's my mocked up dashboard. Um, I've just done this with a bit of scrap wood. Uh, it looks like a nice piece of oak, but it's actually just a bit of MDF with veneer on it. Um, so what I've done to get everything positioned initially is I've just clamped it in place. You can see there, there's a couple of little shims either side. So because I'm trying to work out the position of where everything's going to go, it's taking a bit of uh, a bit of fiddling. So I just started off by clamping that in place. Then I put the steering wheel in position, um, just made sure that kind of fitted okay with my knees and everything. Um, then I went to the main tachometer gauge in the middle and then just positioned stuff around that. Um, the throttle as well, you can see I've tried to sort of position that halfway through the clearance on the steering wheel and the comb in there. Um, and then just sort of added in switches and things. And I've drawn a rough curve on the bottom of the uh, dash now. So that's kind of roughly what the bottom's going to follow, I think, just to give a bit more leg clearance. Um, but uh, just doing it like this has given me the opportunity just to jiggle things around and get the measurements right before I cut any pieces of mahogany or anything. Um, check that it's all going to clear my legs okay. Uh, so basically I'll take that out and then transfer that to a piece of mahogany. I'm actually going to cut this on the CNC machine, so I'll take measurements off of this blank and uh, draw it on the computer and then we'll cut it on the machine. The main reason for that is just so I can get all the holes the exact right size for the gauges and everything and all the switches. Uh, these are going to have to have some little recesses on the back edge for the switches so that they can because they're only quite shallow mounting, so they can fit in there. Um, and the only thing left to do is just to profile the top slightly. You can see I've just roughly cut that, so I'm just gonna go along that top edge and just mark sort of plus five mil, plus 10 mil, um, so I know to get that correct, so that it sits up into that bulkhead. Um, and then we'll be ready to go, but um, it's looking quite nice. Not a bad view. Okay, so there's the dash blank. Um, I've put some dimensions on there just to help me out. And uh, there's a couple of bits that I want to move just slightly. Um, I've done some measurements to the clearance just to offset that curve on the top. And a rough sketch for the bottom edge as well. So. I'm going to take measurements off of that, transfer that to the computer, and um, we'll be ready to cut a piece.
Okay, so there's the finished dash, um, all ready to be varnished soon. Uh, it's going to be stained, same as the boat, and then varnished. So I'll just pull all the hardware back off of that and um, start building up some varnish. I'll probably do that at the same time as the rest of the cockpit. I'm going to do the cockpit sides next, and then the floor, um, and then I'll varnish all that at the same time. You can see I've just put a little radius along the bottom edge there, just to make it a bit softer on your knees so you don't bash them. Uh, I'm really happy with how that's come out.